The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everybody. This is Noah. I'll be presenting the Shortcuts Marketing webinar for today. I've started broadcasting. However, I'm going to give everybody just a moment to join because I can see attendees are still logging in. So while we're waiting for everybody to get uh, caught up, get their coffees, get their notes ready, I'm going to make sure that my screen sharing is turned on and that everybody can see the window. Yep, everybody looks good. Sharing is turned on. My audio, it looks like my audio is working. So again, this is the Shortcuts presentation on Shortcuts Marketing. My name is Noah. I'm usually the person that does the Monday morning presentations. And I'm giving the attendees just a few more moments so that they can join us. We are recording this presentation. So if you had signed up previously and if you're unable to attend or if you need to drop out early, uh, don't worry, we will record this. We will make it available on our webinar webpage, which you can visit a little bit later today. So we'll pause for just a moment, just a few more seconds. Make sure you get your coffee and your notebooks and we'll begin the presentation. Okay, audio looks good. That looks good. Question, that looks good. And I'm just making sure that all of my settings are correct on this side. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and begin the presentation. So again, my name is Noah. We are going to look at Shortcuts Marketing. I'm one of the educators here with Shortcuts. And this presentation is similar to our other webinars. We are recording it. It is approximately 30 to 40 minutes. My microphone is of course on. Everybody has automatically been muted. So we of course, if you're not hearing anything, make sure your speakers are turned up. But on the right side of the screen, you should have a little tile that says chat or questions. So if you have any questions, we will take some time at the end so that you can post your message and if it's critical, you can absolutely ask in the middle of the presentation and I'll try to answer it right away. But do give me some time because we will take all or try to take all questions at the end. So what are we going to learn about today? So what exactly is shortcuts marketing? How does it work? How do we set it up? So how do you make sure that your shortcuts is enabled to take advantage of this? How do you access it? what campaigns are available, and we'll actually walk through a demo of how to set up an email or an SMS text campaign. So in a nutshell, Shortcuts Marketing is a, a brand new feature in Shortcuts. It's a very user-friendly, a very easy to use SMS text and email marketing platform. So we wanted to make sure that you have the ability to communicate with your customers, whether you're running a promotion, whether you'd like to send an automatic happy birthday message, that you have the ability to do that and that it doesn't overwhelm you with how to set it up. It's, it's very user friendly, it's very simple. That you can access this at any time, as long as you have an internet connection, whether it's on a work, a home computer, on a tablet, on your phone, so that you always have the flexibility to set up a campaign, to message your customers whenever you need to. So it's it literally is the perfect solution. It's a fast and easy setup, but still gives you the power to reach out to all of your customers and even send automatic campaigns. So how does it work within the system. What exactly do you need to enable if you haven't already done that in shortcuts? So if most of you have been updated recently with shortcuts, if you went from version seven to uh, the later version, 7.28, you notice that you have 
a number of brand new features whenever you add a new customer. So you'll have the ability to set up marketing, confirmations, communications, and even ratings and reviews. So one of the most important things before you set up a campaign is to make sure that in your shortcuts point of sale system, you enable the proper questions to come up whenever the front desk, whenever the receptionist are adding a new customer. So I'll show you this in just a moment. We'll actually do a live demo. But as most of you know, in the old days of shortcuts and the, in the old days of pretty much any program, you used to be able to get a phone number, get an email address, and contact the clients whenever you wanted. But there have been a number of privacy laws passed between various states and even various countries with regards to customer privacy. So whenever you ask a customer for a phone or an email address, the very first thing that the customer has is the ability to opt out. And they can actually say, I don't want to get any email marketing from you. I don't want to get any ads. I don't want to get any spam. However, I would like to get confirmations for my appointments. So Shortcuts actually allows you to do both. If you get a phone number, if you get an email, you can opt them in to confirmations, but opt them out of marketing. You can also opt them out of reviews or other communications from your system. So where do you access this? So as you can see, we have the map, setup, configuration, general, clients, new client layout. So let's actually look at the specific screen. So I have my shortcuts test environment here. On the bottom right corner, I'm going to set up, configuration, and on the left side of the screen, I have the ability to go to general, and that's on the far left corner, general, and then into the button that says clients. Now, normally your first three tabs at the top of the screen, occupations, age groups, referrals, these correspond to your demographics. We're not going to modify anything here. Instead, we're going to the fourth tab, new client layout. So this is where we configure shortcuts to let us know or let us record what is the most important information that we need to get from a customer? So in the case of my salon, I can say first name and last name, and this literally goes in the order of importance, are the most important things to me, followed by at least one phone number, whether it's cell, work, or home number. Now I could enable any of these other checkboxes to appear on the quick screen, but the goal of my business is to get customers checked in as quickly and as seamlessly as possible. So if I choose, I can say I don't necessarily need one phone number entered. I'd prefer that home phone and work phone are not even on the list. If I need a phone number, I'm gonna request a cell phone. And I'm even going to make cell phone mandatory. So first name, last name, cell phone are mandatory. And if I decide email should be the next most important, I can drag it up on my list, make it available on the quick screen. However, email is not mandatory because believe it or not, there are still people that don't have emails. So we'll set up, those are my four priorities. I'll skip every other demographic, but at the very bottom of the screen, when it comes to customer privacy, there's certain ones I need to enable. And these should also appear on the quick screen. So accept marketing via. So if I ever send out a text campaign, I absolutely want to have the customer have the ability to opt in or opt out. Emails, same thing. However, I don't really plan on sending mailers to any customers. So I'm going to remove mail from the list, and even phone number. We, we don't have phone banks calling any of our clients. 
So really, I market to them in two ways. They either get a text message or an email. And then the next set of options, same rules apply. I want to have the ability to opt in or opt out of confirmations, appointment confirmations via text or email. I don't really have the front desk. I ask them not to call customers. Instead, send them a text or an email. And if they ignore that, possibly use the phone. So this depends on your location, your business. But then loyalty communication. Does my salon have a community, or a, sorry, a loyalty program? Whether I have it available in the salon, in the salon directly or on an app, should I be able to contact the customer to let them know they've earned so many points or that they're getting an update for being in this loyalty program? Yes or no. So if my salon does not have this, I can keep it off the list. And of course, accept ratings and reviews. So Shortcuts does have the ability to send surveys to your customers after their first visit, and then a follow-up survey every visit or once every few months if you choose. The majority of the surveys that we send out, the customers find that more clients respond to email surveys rather than text surveys. So I'm not necessarily going to use text as that option, instead email. So now that I've made some selections, when I return to the new client screen, so whether it's myself or my receptionist, when we go to add a new customer, it will ask all of the important default questions. First name, last name. I prefer to get a cell phone, that is mandatory. Email is optional. And right away, if a customer again says, I don't wanna get spam, I don't wanna get any marketing, but I would like to get confirmations, then I can opt them out of marketing and only have them set to either receive a text or an email. So make sure that you make your individual sites adjustments for the quick screen. So this is gonna help your front desk absolutely make sure that every customer you add has the corresponding marketing agreements or confirmation agreements. If you forget to do this, then by default, shortcuts will opt them in. And any previous clients that you had before you enabled this, they're actually opted out. So you manually have to go to that particular client and go to their card and then confirm what their selections should be. And this is on the right column, opt-in details. So we'll go back to the presentation again. So that's the first thing you should do. Absolutely configure what your client's preferences are when it comes to marketing. When it comes to marketing, appointment confirmations, loyalty, or when you're sending reviews, surveys. The other thing you wanna take care of is if you plan on running an email campaign, whether it's for a referral, whether it's for a birthday, whether it's just a welcome email for your very first customer on their first visit. If you're going to send an email and it has some sort of coupon, some sort of discount, then you should actually create those discounts ahead of time in shortcuts. Give it a value, give it a name, let shortcuts know, is this to be used on products or services? So to access this window, you go to Setup, Configuration, Sales, and Discounts. Now, for today's, uh, for today's review, let's say I'm going to create an email for birthdays, and I send out a two or three dollar coupon on somebody's birthday. So how would I set that up in shortcuts? So I would create a discount first. So in the point of sale, I would go to setup, configuration, and on the left side of the screen, I would go to sales, discounts. 
So these are all of my default discounts that I have. So if I wanted to create a birthday one, because I didn't currently have a birthday one, I can press new on the bottom right corner and create the name of the discount. So I could just call it birthday, or I could call it birthday email, birthday service discount, whatever I want to call it. And then I tell shortcuts. When it's somebody's birthday, is it a percentage that they get or a dollar amount? So I can pretend that a customer gets $10 off their service. So I can press fixed amount and just type in a 10. And then in the middle of the screen, if they're only allowed to use $10 on a service, not on a product, not on a gift certificate, then in the middle of the screen, there's a checkbox that corresponds with discount can be applied to product, service, or sundry. So I'm going to uncheck product and sundry. A customer can only use their $10 discount on services. So once I'm happy with that, I can press save. Now, if you think ahead of time, if you think of things like, well, actually I should have a coupon for my client's second visit so that after they have their first visit with me, I'm going to send them a welcome email. Thank you for visiting me. I appreciate your business. Here, let me offer you $5 off a product for your second visit. So I'll create a discount for that. If I want to offer a customer that hasn't returned to see me in 16 weeks and is historically a lost client, I really want to try to win them back and turn them into a regular client. So I would create a coupon called We Miss You or Lost Client. And I would say this coupon is worth $10. And if you haven't been back in 16 weeks, you're allowed to use this $10 coupon on your next visit. So plan ahead. So new clients, we miss use, referrals, birthdays. Those are the types of coupons that you can set up ahead of time. And if you have a summer promotion or a holiday promotion that you're planning on, you can also start creating those coupons. And when the season rolls around, you can then send an email campaign that corresponds that shortcuts can track. So keep that in mind. Set your marketing options for your customers and set your discount reasons if you ever decide to send an email with some sort of coupon, some sort of promotion. So let's go back to the presentation. So those are the first two things that you really should configure in the shortcuts point of sale. Now, as far as getting shortcuts marketing to recognize what links you want to go to, this is something that you have to configure in the shortcuts online console. So hopefully you are already familiar with the console. Hopefully you've used it in the past. This, the site settings, is where you go to update your social media links. So of course, the big four. If you have a dedicated website, you want to include a link to that. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, so your top three social media engines. If you have one or all three of those social media engines, go ahead and put in your data there. Now, if you, you don't quite remember exactly where this is, I'm going to show you. So I'm going to my console. So I'm gonna use Eddie's here. He's one of the customers I was working with recently. And I'm going to go to site settings. So at the top, this is where you can insert your logo. So this logo will actually be copied over into your email campaigns as well. So make sure that you insert your logo. 
Make sure that you have a site name and then your social media links. So Eddie's has a web page. Eddie's has a Facebook page. Eddie's has an Instagram page. Eddie's does not have a Twitter, but he might be working on that in the future. So again, once you're in the console, those options are under site settings. So make sure you update this before you send out a campaign because the email templates are gonna pull right from this page. So back to our presentation. So we've configured our shortcuts point of sale. We've configured our console. So you're actually ready to start building email campaigns now. But if you decide, I don't just wanna send email campaigns, I'd like to also send SMS, text campaigns. If you haven't yet signed up for our bundles, you can actually visit our Shortcuts webpage. You can go to our shop and you can add SMS bundles. So previously, sending out text campaigns was not available from Shortcuts, and this is with regards to customer privacy. But now that the customers have the ability to opt themselves in, opt themselves out, and the front desk can even opt the client in or out of certain things, then this is a feature that's now available. So you can both do confirmations and you can do marketing using SMS. So if you haven't signed up yet, it's worth investigating. So now that Shortcuts has been configured, you've set up your social media, you set up your point of sale, where exactly do you go? to set up your campaigns. So if you already have a Shortcuts online console link, you would go to the console and you would go to the button in the corner that says cloud. Or if you already know your cloud address, which starts with POS point of sale dot shortcutsoftware.com and you know your username and password, you can log in directly. So once you log into the cloud, you can already start to set up some campaigns. So what are the specific campaigns that Shortcuts Marketing has available to you? All the traditional, all of the popular ongoing campaigns are ready to go. Your happy birthday, welcoming a new guest, your we miss you, your friendly reminder, it's time to see you again. Every time a client does a referral and you want to thank the person that did the referral, that template is ready to go. If you have a no-show and you mark that no-show in your appointment book, Shortcuts can actually send an email to the person to try to find out what happened and, of course, try to get them to reschedule. And if whenever a customer makes an appointment, not just an online booking, but if they make an appointment with the front desk, with your receptionist or your staff, once their appointment is made, they're going to get an appointment acknowledgement, which is actually different than the confirmation because their confirmation may still arrive the day before their visit. This is just an acknowledgement to let them know oh, you've uh, booked a future appointment, this is the day and this is the time. So these are some of the campaigns that are available for you. And if you don't exactly want to use an automated ongoing campaign, let's say you just have a special event happening this weekend and you need to send out an email right away, you also have the ability to do one-time blast either to email or to SMS text or both. So you can broadcast these campaigns to all of your customers, or you can use, create a targeted list from Shortcuts Fusion and send it to very specific people. So one of the examples is, and this was one of the campaigns that Eddie was working on, is he's going to take a vacation in about three weeks. So he'd like to send an email to all of his preferred customers 
just letting him know he's going to be out at the end of August. So in shortcuts, he generated a marketing list, selected only his preferred customers, and just sent those people a message. So of course, what's the other advantage of shortcuts marketing? So this is free unlimited emails every month, regardless of your database size. So we have some small salons, some small barbershops that have a few hundred emails in their database. And we have larger ones that have been with shortcuts for almost a decade that have thousands, tens of thousands of emails in their database. Both of them get free unlimited emails. If you have a small sampling of clients and they'd like to get SMS campaigns as well, you now have that ability. And of course, you can access this on any computer that has an internet connection or any mobile device. So no longer do you have to set this up in shortcuts or a specific point of sale. You can use anything to set up your campaigns. So we're going to do a live demo. How do you access it? How does this window look like? How do you send a message? And then, of course, how do you review it? So we'll exit out of here for a moment, and we'll go to my browser. So normally I would press the cloud button, but I already have the cloud page up. So from the cloud page, normally, if you had your shortcuts cloud enabled, you would see your appointment book. But on the top, on the top left, I'm going to menu. And under menu, I'm going to general settings. It's the fourth from the left. And on the right side, I'm going to marketing. So the marketing screen, it's very easy. It's very simple to work with on the left side. These are all of my potential templates or campaigns. So starting from the bottom, this is the list of automated campaigns that you can send up right away. So appointment acknowledgement, happy birthday, a new client welcome, a no-show, referral, time to see you and we miss you. Each one of these already has their own automatic trigger. So appointment acknowledgement, whenever an appointment is made at the point of sale, I can choose should the customer get an SMS or, a, or an email. Happy birthday is designed to send out on nine in the morning on the specific day of the customer's birthday. New client will be sent at nine o'clock one day after a customer's first visit with you no-shows, whenever a customer is marked as a no-show in the point of sale, they're going to get an automatic message. Referrals. So whenever a customer is referred and you mark that referral in your shortcuts point of sale, I'll show you this in a moment where exactly that is, the person that did the referral is going to get an email and they'll say, thank you for referring this new client to us. I appreciate your business and here's your reward. And we're actually going to offer them a coupon. Time to see you again. So this is just a friendly reminder. It's been a few weeks since your last visit. Let's have you make a new appointment. At no point does it offer them a coupon or some sort of discount. It's literally just a friendly reminder. And we miss you. So this is the one that's historically reserved for lost clients. So we want to win them back. So this message goes out at nine o'clock if a customer hasn't visited you in at least 16 weeks and they have no future appointments. So for the happy birthday campaign, oh, before I mention that, at the top, the top two are, if you just needed to send out a one-time email blast to all of your customers, that would be message all clients. And you can type in the particulars of your campaign. You can offer a coupon if you want. 
and include your social media links or online booking link. And your second option is targeted campaign. So if you want to send a one-time message to a specific group of people, and again, in uh, yesterday while I was working with Eddie, it was just to, for his preferred customers so that they would know he's on vacation soon. But I'm going to go to happy birthday. So happy birthday is historically the most popular campaign at every business. So on the right, I can choose, am I sending up an SMS campaign or an email campaign? I'm using an email campaign. And we're just gonna go through the list. So Shortcuts already tells us this will be sent at nine o'clock every day on the customer's birthday. And then where it says header. So the very first thing that Shortcuts will do is offer the display logo. So this is the logo in the customer's site settings. So at the top of every email, you can tell Shortcuts to automatically put your business logo there so it's ready to go. So then underneath that is the option for a display image. So what a display image is, it's a sort of banner. So if you have a banner that says happy birthday, or if you have a really nice picture that you'd like to use with your campaign, this is where you would press display image and then choose that particular picture. So the recommended file size is 600 pixels by 300 pixels. And just about every computer has a built-in paint program that allows you to crop or resize pictures so that they're perfect. So whether it's a happy birthday, a we miss you picture, whatever the picture is, even on your one-time messages, you can always put a display image there. And then what is the subject? So when the customer gets this email, it'll actually say happy birthday. And notice there's a double bracket. So shortcuts will actually put in the customer's first name. So you can customize the subject message. And on the right side, this is where you tell shortcuts, what's the particular piece of information to include? Should it be their full name, their last name, the business name, things like that. You can choose from the right side. And then the body of the actual campaign. What is the message going to say? So it's gonna say hi, again, put in the customer's name. From all of us here at Eddie's Haircut and Shave, we wish you a happy birthday. So it goes on and it mentions, we have a voucher that you can use on your next appointment. We hope you have a wonderful birthday. So you can absolutely change this message to say anything that you'd like. This is our placeholder text. We find that it works for most locations, but you can rewrite it. If you choose, you can even paste the link in here. So if you wanna say something like, uh, be sure to read our ratings on a Yelp page, for example, you can paste your Yelp link there. And when the customer gets this email, they can just click on that link. But then after the body, if this email or any email is supposed to have a coupon with it, then this is why you set up all of your discounts in the shortcuts point of sale ahead of time. So remember, I just added a birthday discount. I can add a we miss you discount a referral discount, whatever the particular discount is. And then I can tell the email, this is what the offer is going to say. I'm gonna give you $5 off any service and it's going to correspond with a very particular discount. In this case, my birthday service discount. I can also put in a terms and conditions. So should the coupon be good for one month? 30 days, 14 days, two months. Make sure that I spell out the terms and conditions. Can the customer use it on services or services and products? Also include that on the terms and conditions. Now your online booking link will automatically be inserted in this particular message. If you decide, well, I, I do wanna send them a happy birthday message, 
but I don't want to include a coupon and I'm not going to mention any sort of voucher. On the right corner of the offer, there's a little X and that allows you to delete that row. So you can delete any offer from any of the templates that we have. And instead of all of your message is going to be is text, you can absolutely do that. The same rule applies for your online booking link. If you decide you do not want to include that link, you can also delete that row. Now, if you want to get a preview of what this looks like, on the bottom left corner, I could press the preview button. And shortcuts will generate a preview of the message. Now, it's very bare bones, it's very easy to read, and we find that when a customer gets this email, it arrives quickly, it's very easy to read on their phone, on their computer, whatever device they're using. So sometimes simple is better. And right away, their eye is drawn to this particular coupon. So they can say, oh, I got just $5 off I can use on my next visit. So right away, they're ready to read this message and then to visit your location. At the bottom of the screen, since Eddie has a Facebook page, an Instagram page, a web page, all of those links appear automatically at the bottom of his message after the book now button. So he didn't have to configure any of that because he included that information in his site settings. Shortcuts knew to include that on his email. And since he doesn't have a Twitter email or a Twitter link in there, that Twitter logo does not appear at the bottom of his email. So it's very easy to set up your campaigns ahead of time to have the corresponding online booking link, social media links. So just keep that in mind. Set all of that up first in site settings so that it knows what logo, what links to use, and then just change the details on the campaign. And if you want, you can send a test email on the bottom right corner. I can send a test to myself and review it. And once I'm happy with my message, I can press the activate button. Now, we already activated Eddie's yesterday, so now it actually says deactivate. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do that to Eddie. But now I can go to any other campaign and repeat the steps. So yesterday, we got the appointment acknowledgement, happy birthday, new client, no show, referral. All of those are set up and running. And on the left side of the screen, I can tell they're set up and running because they have a little green dot next to how they're running. So none of these campaigns are using SMS. They're only using email. So green means go. Gray means that they are not currently active for that particular type. So the time to see you again, the we miss you. So these are the last two campaigns that Eddie, if he decides, could turn on for his business. We can say, okay, so if it's the time to see you again, it's just a friendly reminder. It's been six weeks since their last visit and they have no future appointments. So this is my default message. You know, you're overdue for a visit. Here's my link to online booking. There's no mention of a coupon. So I could preview that message. And if it looks good to me, then I can press activate. And now Eddie doesn't have to worry every six weeks if the customer doesn't have a future appointment, they're going to get an email to remind them that, hey, you're, you're about due for a, a follow-up. So it's very easy to enable and to preview and to assemble all of your automatic campaigns. The only difference between this and your one-time campaigns is exactly what it sounds like. If you just have a promotion that you're putting together for the summer or for the holidays, you just tell shortcuts, what are the particulars of this campaign? Will it include any sort of coupon? And then once you send your test and once you activate it or send now, then shortcuts marketing will send the message then and there. 
So it's probably the easiest user interface when it comes to creating campaigns, especially automated campaigns, that you'll ever see. Now, some of the people that are listening in, they, they know that Shortcuts has the ability to do referral campaigns, but how exactly does, does it know who should be getting this email? So we're going to go back to the Shortcuts point of sale. So normally, you would have that question in the client screen. So when you press new, we could include a line here that says referral. How did you actually hear about us? Facebook, the web, another customer? That tends to slow down your front desk. Instead, as customers make appointments with you, on their second, their third, their fourth visit, they mention to their stylist, oh yeah, um, I actually heard about you guys from one of your regular customers. They, they told me about you and, and they were really the person that did the referral. As soon as you find out, then you can mark and send the thank you to this person. So I have my two customers here, my Shortcuts Test customer and my new guy. My Shortcuts Test customer mentions, uh, it was actually the new guy that told me about you. As soon as that happens, I can go to his client card and in the bottom center of the screen, there's an info button. All of your extra information goes here. On the left side, if the employee gets certain demographic information, like this customer actually works in retail and the referral method was another client, as soon as I choose another client, Shortcuts will bring up my customer list and ask me, who was the client? And I can say, it was the new guy. The new guy ref uh, did the referral. So I can press done. So as long as I have the new guy's email, the next time this Shortcuts test customer checks out, the new guy is going to get an email saying thank you for the referral. I really appreciate you bringing in new business to us. And of course, here's a coupon that you can use on your next visit. So if your staff isn't already doing this, make sure they get into the habit. If they find out who the referral was, the particular person, go to the info and choose that person's name, another client and tag that person. So of course you can actually have customers that refer three or four customers and they get 20, 30, $40 worth of coupons and they really appreciate it. So they're gonna keep referring more clients to you. So just keep that in mind. It's a way of rewarding the customers and you just wanna make sure that your staff is in the habit of tagging those referrals. So this brings us to the end of the presentation. So question time. If you have questions on shortcuts marketing, how to set it up, something that I might have overlooked, let me know. On the right side, we do have some questions that popped up. So let me let me bring these over. So let's see. So I'll go in the order. Uh, Victoria has a question. Can you still select when the email sends, such as 14 days before the client's birthday? Are there options for fonts and font sizes, colors? Uh, Victoria, unfortunately, there are not currently those features in Shortcuts Marketing. So this is with regards to the queue. Can you put emails in a queue and tell Shortcuts, send this one two weeks from now, send this other one three weeks from now? No. Uh, this is a feature we are working on. For right now, it's very bare bones. It's very easy to use. But as, as we continue to develop on it, we're gonna start introducing more of those features. The ability to adjust your font sizes, adjust your colors, add additional graphics. Those are all in the pipeline. We will slowly introduce them. Uh, Marcy has a question. When a promotion is used, will it show up in the client profile or redemption? So with regards to promotions, if 
the customer and and there's a couple of different ways of tracking promotions so if a customer gets an email and it mentions a coupon or a voucher usually the customer will show you their email or even print it out and bring it in with them when they visit so at the point of sale that's where you're supposed to mark that particular discount and what shortcuts does when you mark that discount when you start using them it will actually keep track of those when you're in the cloud and you go to your dashboard so your dashboard normally shows you your business details for a particular week or a particular period at the bottom of that list you now have something brand new your campaign return on investment how many emails have you sent how many clicks did you get on your email how many customers have used their coupons from those emails how much did they spend in total when they visited you what was your return on investment so that's campaign roi but for promotions when you're in shortcuts whenever a discount is applied it actually shows up on your reports so what were the discounts what were your totals who gave these things out so you actually get a breakdown on what sorts of of discounts you're using things of that nature now you could and this is on the right side under setup the ability to set promotions in promotion setup this is what would traditionally be called an automated promotion if during the summer months you decide that you're going to have a haircut blowout special and if a customer buys both the haircut and the blowout you're going to give them ten dollars off their visit so on this window i can actually tell shortcuts if the customer buys a service and b service then ten dollars will automatically be deducted at the point of sale so a client could still buy just one service and pay regular price the customer has to buy both during a certain period we can actually set for a month for a week whatever the case is and then the discount is automatically applied so this window promotion setup will actually give us a count how many customers have purchased this promotion what were your sales on this what were your dates and you can always bring these back up at the point of sale as long as the customer meets the criteria then that discount is automatically applied you don't have to choose the client's name you don't have to track anything in their client card shortcuts will know this customer now qualifies for an automatic promotion so these promotions do not necessarily correspond with your email campaigns they're sort of two separate things in shortcuts if you were to go to our shortcuts learning center page our web page we actually have examples on the types of promotions that you can set up in shortcuts so I'll just show you quickly so we're going to support learning center and just about everybody in attendance has shortcuts fusion that's the first link and if we scroll down we actually have promotions and we give you 10 examples of some of the types of promotions you can set up so does the customer need a coupon or a gift certificate if a customer purchases a certain company or a certain line do they get a discount a percentage on certain days buy one get one free buy 10 get one free so this is the example where if a customer buys 10 haircuts their 11th haircut would be free how do you set that up how do shortcuts count that so if you set up the promotion shortcuts will keep track of that automatically you don't need to give the customer a punch out card you don't have to mark anything on their history or their visits shortcuts will just keep track of the total number of haircuts they get buy one service buy another service get 50 percent off a third service so these are just some of the types of automatic promotions you can configure so when you send out an email campaign you could mention for the month of august 
I'm actually doing a buy one, get one free promotion. Buy a service and get a free product. So you can combine them. You don't have to do buy a service, get a service, or buy a product, get a product. You can mix and match. You can say buy a service, get a product, or vice versa. All right. Does that answer your question, Marcy? I know I expanded probably too much on it. Okay, are there any other questions with regards to campaigns, with regards to tracking, shortcuts marketing? Okay, if not, we are recording this, of course, and we will be posting this online. But if you have any other questions, if you think of anything after this presentation, you can always reach out to us. We will get back to you. We have our email here, customercareusa at shortcuts.net. Uh, especially if you don't have SMS bundles or if you've been holding off on confirmations, now would be a good time to invest in that. You can reach out, reach us on Facebook. We do check our Facebook page and we do respond. Uh, visit our learning center on our shortcuts.net or give us a call. Well, thank you for your time, everybody. I, I appreciate you attending this presentation. So if you give us just a moment, we will convert this recording and we will make it available on our Shortcuts webpage. Thank you for your time and I hope to see you back for the next presentation. Have a great day.